Welcome everyone. Today I wanted to talk about a different topic in Cardano. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen the presentation before, but it's by a person named Dr. Neil Davies. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but he's one of the hires that IOHK employed for the Cardano project and he's a PhD, as are a lot of the high level people that are working within the Cardano project. A lot of them have PhDs, a lot of them are very high on the academic rung. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I watched this presentation a while ago. It was on something called Delta Q Calculus. And, um, you know, I, I've taken calculus in college and in high school, and I think I went up to multivariable calculus. I'm not sure if I learned what Delta Q measurements were. I, I, I just don't remember. But the the academic rigor of this project is so intense. This PhD professor, Dr. Neil Davies, he, he previous employments were he worked at CERN. And for everyone that doesn't know who CERN, what CERN is, CERN is the largest particle accelerator in the world. And basically, what this Delta Q calculus is doing, it's it's measuring time, it's measuring speed, it's measuring, it's responsible for understanding how our network is going to scale, how the Cardano ecosystem is going to scale, how information is transported from one party to the next party. And this is a science, this is a mathematical proof. There is there is way that information travels from network to network to network in order to optimize speed, optimize scalability and increase user performance. So when we're thinking about block creation, when we're thinking about um, let's let's just take Shelley, for example, when new blocks are minted, when when the leader, when the slot leaders get selected and they have to verify the veracity of a block or the the transactions within a particular block within the with, within the chain, they need to understand they need to respond, their systems need to respond accordingly. It can't be on, let's say, um, dial up internet speed. It can't be running slowly. The network has to progress at a certain speed in order to provide maximum utility to all the people that are working within the side the system. So this this integrates with everything that Cardano is working on, increasing their transactions per second, increasing their throughput. So a lot of these projects, when they are talking about, let's say, their transactions per second, and they're saying they're doing, you know, a million transactions per second, and they're creating, uh, you know, 100 million blocks a day, I don't know what it is, but the, the, the claims become even more outrageous as we continue. The, the speed, the scalability, the throughput, it all has to be measured. It has to be measured. These, these, these variations and these claims, they need to be substantiated. So this Delta Q calculus is responsible. They're using mathematics to understand exactly how blocks are going to work, the speed in which the network is going to communicate information with each other, and ultimately how this is going to help Cardano run seamlessly when new features are introduced. And this is so important. This is so important. Look at the quality of hires at IOHK. I mean, someone that's working at CERN is responsible for auditing this information, making sure that it's correct. I, I recently went to CERN. I recently took that tour um, in Geneva. And it is, it is fascinating, fascinating, fascinating work that they're doing. And the science and math that's being applied to these systems is now being applied to the blockchain, the, the next financial stack of the new world. Things are looking great. So let me know what you think. And once again, I don't know what Delta Q calculus is in its full complexity. I don't understand how to find Delta Q measurements. Maybe I just didn't get that far or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Let me know if I missed anything. And once again, Thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you.